what agents make their case against a rogue roofing contractor caught in a sting. Consumer investigator Jim Strickland has discovered roofs that went on years ago are now part of the investigation. Yeah, Justin, our undercover team was on the inside of a fraud sting dubbed Operation Hailstorm. We wired a bait house with hidden cameras and watched the roofers in action. But now investigators are concerned real homeowners got baited into signing up for shoddy roofing shortcuts. It's time you're under arrest. You couldn't believe that I've seen inside. Ronnie actually on the TV, you know, paying for some of this crap that he's done. Agents arrested Ronnie Baker after hidden cameras recorded him using his fingers and even a TV antenna bolt, leaving behind pockmarks for a hail claim. He offered denials. There's a lot of crooks in this business, and I'm not one of them. One of Baker's former salesmen, Travis Ray, came forward with another issue. I was actually with Ronnie when he ordered the supplies for this particular house. Not enough supplies? Not enough. No one was home here, but Ray told investigators on this house and others, Baker used a lower grade shingle than the insurance paid for and skipped foundation materials altogether. I understand that there's insurance fraud and I don't commit insurance fraud. People Baker owns his insurance. company, Lighthouse Construction. But two roofers we videotaped scraping up the roof with a penny. We were trying to expose hail damage. Expose or create? Expose. Investigators say they work for William Benefield. He's already been indicted in a separate fraud case in North Georgia. On the flip side, our cameras also caught Robert Smith. He works for Academy Roofing of Kennesaw. What'd it look like, man? Well, I didn't see too much storm damage up there, actually. Even if he did find damage, Smith explained that he would not pay the deductible because it's against the law. I spoke to the president of Academy Roofing late this afternoon. He says his sales team has to sign a code of conduct. He admits their commitment to following the law cost them about 50% of the jobs they bid on, losing out to roofers who will work on the cheap and make illegal promises. Justin. All right, Jim.